I just recently crossed the 10,000 subscriber mark here on YouTube. So I'm gonna share with you what you can do to get 10,000 subscribers yourself. And we're starting right now. What is going on? My name is Nick. You know what? This is a different, uh, this is a pretty, this is a special video. Let's do something a little bit different. There we go, much better. First off, I wanna say thank you to you first 10,000 people that have subscribed to the channel. Uh, you know, I put a lot of work into this channel, so it's it's pretty cool to see that work symbolically appreciated through people clicking on that little red button. It's a uh, pretty cool thing, thank you. And real quick, if this is the first video of mine that you're seeing and you wanna learn how to grow your YouTube channel and you wanna learn how to make videos and all types of other YouTube related stuff, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss anything. And real quick, let me know down in the comments how many subscribers you have. You know, maybe you can use this video as a reference as we grow our channels together. The first thing I wanna talk about is consistency. It's extremely important that everything across the board is consistent. I'm talking about your upload schedule, you know, if you can do that. I'm talking about your branding, I'm talking about your message, I'm talking about your content, you know, your format of your videos everything. Consistency counts. People rely on consistency. It's what makes things familiar to people, right? Consistency. So you want to make sure that you're consistent across the board on everything that you do. Numero dos, hustle. You know, if you want to get 10,000 subscribers or 5,000 subscribers or 100,000 subscribers on your channel, it's going to take work. It's going to take a lot of testing. It's going to take a lot of learning. It's going to take a lot of you know, getting into your stats and trying to figure out exactly what it is that your subscribers are on your channel for, your viewers are on your channel for. You know, for pretty much everybody, you get more views from non-subscribers than you do for subscribers, right? So you wanna figure out, okay, what is it that I can do to get more views? Or what is it that I can do to convert my viewers into subscribers, right? So that they can get the notifications when I upload a video, so they can come to start the velocity in my video, right? So. Hustle, it, it, it includes all of these things. Community, it includes testing stuff, it includes putting in the work, it includes learning to the point of understanding what is going on here on YouTube, how to make stuff better, how to connect with people, the psychology behind different things that you can do in your videos in order to get people to keep watching, in order to, to make people want to be a part of what it is that you're doing. Another thing that's extremely important to keep in mind if you're trying to grow your channel is mindset. I've mentioned this in another video where you know I, I, I spoke about making sure that when you make your content that you you make it in a way that you are already where you are wanting to go. So if you're wanting to have you know a hundred thousand subscribers, you're wanting to have a million subscribers, then go ahead and start making your content now and interacting with your community like you've already achieved that goal. And by doing so, you're gonna be perceived in a better way. You're gonna be perceived as somebody that is already doing everything that, that they should be doing to make all of those elements go together instead of somebody that's just starting out. Here's one way to think of it, is think when you make your content, think, okay, if one person watches this video, I want that one person to hit that subscribe button. I want that one person to share my video with their friend. I want that one person to like my stuff, to become a part of what it is that I'm doing. Right, so you want to make your content in a way that is going to pull people in. And in order to do that, you have to present your content, you have to present yourself in a way that is going to encourage that behavior from the people that watch your videos. Number four, you have to make quality content. And by making quality content, I don't mean that you have to have the best camera on earth. And I know I, I mentioned quality in a lot of my videos, I beat this horse to death, but, uh, <laughs> You, you need to really focus on making sure that what it is that you're delivering is quality, right? Like if you're entertaining people, make sure that your content is entertaining. If you're educating people, make sure that you're sharing enough information to educate the people that are watching your videos. And you don't have to have the best quality equipment, but it has to be good enough, right? You have to have enough light in your videos, right? You can't make videos in a dark room and expect people to watch your videos. You can't have audio that sounds absolutely horrible and expect people to watch your videos because they're gonna watch and they're gonna click away and they're not gonna subscribe to your channel. So you can make videos with your phone, no problem at all, right? But you, you have to keep quality in mind. You have to keep the viewer in mind when you're putting your content together. And, and I know there's a huge learning curve when it comes to you know technology to make videos and how to put all this stuff together, but Making quality videos is extremely important. And by quality, you know, I mean your, your camera setup, you know, like I said, you can do it with your phone, but I mean your camera setup, I mean the value that you're delivering to the people that watch your videos. If you're entertaining them, that's cool. If you're, if you're 
making them laugh, that's cool. If you're teaching them stuff, that's cool. If you're inspiring people, that's even better. You know, if you're vlogging, you know, if you can work in some type of value for the person that's watching your videos instead of just vlogging for the sake of, you know, saying, oh, here's what I'm doing today, then you're gonna have a better success on your channel if you do it that way. And don't get me wrong, I know that, you know, there are exceptions to all of those rules and there's exceptions to every rule. However, I'm just saying, as somebody that's starting out, as somebody that is on the grind trying to get that first 10,000 subscribers, the more benefit that you can give to other people, the better off you're gonna be. If you're curious about the type of stuff that I personally use to make my videos, I've put links to everything that I use down in the description below so you can check them out. Currently, I'm shooting this on a Canon 70D. I've got a Rode video mic plugged in just sitting on top of the camera, and I've got a GoPro. Number five, you gotta commit. Making videos, coming up with video ideas, recording them, uh, editing the videos, you know, all of this stuff takes time. It takes a lot of time, and especially when you're first starting out and you're not getting traction yet, it can, it can be intimidating, it can be discouraging because you're putting in all of this time and effort but nobody's watching your videos yet. But you have to commit. If you want people to join your tribe, so to speak, if you want people to follow what it is that you're doing and be a part of what it is that you're doing, subscribe to your channel, share your videos, things like that, you have to commit to regularly making videos, to basically breaking down the learning curve of how to create and edit your videos so that you can deliver quality content to people you have to commit to the grind, right? Because like I mentioned before about hustle, you know, I'm not a kid, right? Like I, I have work I have to do, right? I have clients that I have to serve, right? So, you know, I have my work that I do also, but I commit to making YouTube a part of what it is that I do so that I can tap into the opportunities here on YouTube, so that I can share the knowledge that I have and things like that as well. You know, I have a wallpaper that's on, on my screen in the videos that I shoot in my office, and it says, do something today that your future self will thank you for, right? That's part of commitment, right? You're making videos now, and you're trying to tap into YouTube and the YouTube community now, so that in the future, you can thank yourself for doing it, right? So if, if doing the videos is something that you're really interested in doing and it's something that you really want to do and you see the opportunity. I'm not talking about just making videos for the sake of making videos. I'm talking about having a purpose and saying, okay, this is why I want to make my videos. This is why I want to put this stuff together. This is the value I want to bring to other people. This is what I want for myself. If that is, is the way that you're looking at making videos, then you have to commit. You know, if you go and you work a 40 hour job, when you get home, instead of watching Game of Thrones or, or something else, you know, instead of hopping on Reddit or instead of, you know, watching other people's content, start making your own. I mean, look, here's the thing. There are a lot of opportunities that can come from doing YouTube. The people that you come in contact with, the people that you end up being friends with, the people that you are just associated with, the people that are seeing your stuff, the people, like, you never know who's gonna watch your videos. Right, so if you commit and you're putting up videos on a regular basis for the for the reason of trying to reach some type of end goal, be it YouTube fame, be it you know making money, be it uh, you know sharing a message, being maybe it's making the world a better place, you know whatever whatever purpose it is, whatever reason you have that you want to make videos for, committing to that upload schedule and committing to making videos on a regular basis, you got to do it because if you don't commit nothing is gonna happen automatically, right? Hook up your future self by tapping into the opportunity of YouTube if that's something that you really, really want to do. You gotta commit. Again, for you first 10,000 people that have subscribed to my channel and that regularly watch my videos and that are regularly in the comments, thank you so much. It really means a lot to me and I'm glad that I can serve you by creating these videos and by sharing the knowledge that I have of YouTube and getting views and how to put videos together and you know how to grow here on YouTube. I, I appreciate you being a part of my channel. I appreciate you watching my videos, subscribing, sharing my stuff. I'm gonna make another one of these videos, of course, at 50,000 when I reach 50,000. Right now the channel's growing at, as of today, it's at like 2,500 new subscribers uh, per month, which is pretty awesome, but that, that just keeps climbing as of right now. So uh, 50,000 is just right around the corner, really. Uh, once I hit 50,000, then I'm gonna make another one of these videos, and then I have something huge planned for the 100,000 video. And it's going to completely blow your mind, and it's going to be an amazing experience for one of the subscribers 
that are on my channel and that are an active participant in my community. It's gonna be a, a huge, huge deal for somebody. So you definitely do not wanna miss that. If you know anyone else that makes videos for YouTube and they need help growing their channels and they need help making vi better videos, definitely send them over here because the faster that we can hit that 50,000 mark, the faster that we can hit that 100,000 mark so that I can completely dump an amazing experience on somebody. If you are not already subscribed, make sure to hit the subscribe button somewhere on this page so you can get more videos like this in the future. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.